Well, hello there. For those of you who've been following this saga, here's my now working Geiger counter kit sitting on my office desk. And this was fixed by David Ashton in Australia. So I'd just like to say hi Dave and thanks for everything. So at the minute we're counting background radiation. And I'm going to set a stopwatch going and we're going to see how many radiation events we get per minute on average. Okay, so I did this for three minutes and the average count was 34 events per minute. Well now let's try some of that no salt salt in which some of the sodium chloride is replaced by potassium chloride. And the one I have here is called Smart Balance that I picked up from the uh, local public supermarket a few minutes ago. Okay, well I know that things don't seem to be happening much more than before. But in fact the average turns out to be 44 events per minute as opposed to our background count of 34 events per minute. So that's about 30% mm, uh, or so higher. Okay well now let's try the two uranium marbles that were sent to me by Nick Brito. And I really hope I'm pronouncing his surname correctly. So these are uranium enriched glass marbles but only lightly so. So let's see how that goes. Well, once again, it may not seem like much, but you do get spurts of events that come just too fast to count. And you've got to remember I'm using a stopwatch and marking the events down with a pen and a piece of paper. So uh, let's try this again with just one marble and we'll see how we go. Okay, well, that was a lot better. Uh, with one marble we're getting about 53 events per minute on average as compared to our background rate of 34 events. So that's about 55-ish percent higher. Uh, and now let's go for broke. We'll take this marble away and here's a five micro curie puck of cesium, right, cesium-137 um, this is a radioactive isotope of cesium with a half-life of about th uh, 30 years. And as you can see, this is actually pretty radioactive compared to background radiation. I think as a general rule of thumb, I will not be walking around this, with this in my trouser pockets for any extended length of time. So there we are. Uh, I actually found the sound of the random clicks coming from this guy account to be quite relaxing. Uh, it's just sat here on my office desk and it just clicks away in the background. Uh, and if the Browns Ferry nuclear power station down the road does go pear-shaped, then I'm going to be one of the first pe people to know about it round here. In which case my last words will be, Dave, it worked!